Hello friends and welcome. I hope that whatever holidays you've celebrated so far this winter have been truly special for you and your family. And as we bid adieu to 2023, it's a wonderful time to banish the things that no longer serve us so we can focus on some new 2024 beauty resolutions. Beauty resolutions that can empower us and help us radiate joy and confidence so we can embrace our own unique beauty. So today I'll share with you 10 recommended beauty resolutions that can maximize and jumpstart our beauty routine in the year ahead. But before we focus on these resolutions, let me welcome aboard those of you who might be new to this channel and welcome back those of you who are already part of this family. My name is Elise and I'm a makeup artist who specializes in helping women who, like me, are over 50 and who want to look and feel their confident best. So on this channel, you'll find makeup tips, techniques, and product information that address the changes we've experienced in order to help us look like the best version of ourselves. If this focus sounds like it's right up your alley, please subscribe before you leave today. But now let's get right to today's topic. My first recommended resolution is to commit to a consistent skincare routine, both in the morning and at night. Whether you prefer to keep your routine simple or whether you have a more complex routine, the key word here is consistency. As we all know, no amount of makeup can substitute for good consistent skincare. So commit to a little self-love each morning and evening to achieve healthy, radiant skin because you deserve it. And if you haven't yet tried some type of retinol product, make sure to add this to your routine in 2024 since it's the A number one way to deal with fine lines. The next three resolutions also have a direct impact on how our skin looks. Resolution number two is all about hydration, both inside and out. A few days ago when I looked in the mirror, I was struck by how drawn my skin looked and how prominent some of my wrinkles looked. And then I realized that I'd gotten distracted the previous day in that morning and hadn't had the normal amount of water that I usually drink. It's been said that hydration is the ultimate beauty secret because skin that is well hydrated looks plumper and more radiant and also makes fine lines less noticeable. And water also does a lot of other important things for our body. It takes nutrients to cells, it gets rid of toxins and waste, it protects joints and organs, increases energy, relieves fatigue, and helps us focus and concentrate better. And if you have trouble remembering to drink water, you can always set a reminder on your phone or put a few post-it notes in strategic locations around the house. Resolution number three is especially tricky to do over the holidays, but it's a wonderful way to get the new year off to a good start. Cut back on sugar. Dr. Anthony Ewan, who's a holistic plastic surgeon, has stated that the number one cause of wrinkles is sugar. And a recent Harvard Newsletter article stated that the effects of high sugar intake can be higher blood pressure, inflammation, weight gain, diabetes, and fatty liver disease, which are all linked to an increased risk for heart attack and stroke. Some people prefer to go cold turkey to get off sugar, and how long it takes for the taste buds to reset varies for each of us. But most people will start to notice far fewer sugar cravings after only 10 days, and it takes two to three weeks to establish a habit. I can personally address this challenge because I was a longtime sugar fanatic and donuts and pumpkin spice lattes were definitely my drugs of choice. But then I started to have issues with atrial fibrillation and sugar often triggered it. So in order to avoid more visits to the ER to have a cardioversion, and that's where they stop and restart your heart, I had to get off sugar. So now, amazingly, I really don't have any sugar cravings and I can even walk into a bakery and not purchase a single donut, which is truly amazing. But you don't have to go cold turkey. You can simply cut back on the amount of sugar that you have each day. Resolution number four is exercise. Now, we all know that exercise is great for our heart, our lungs, our mental health, but it's also one of the major keys to healthy skin. And here's why. Exercise increases blood flow, which helps nourish skin cells and keeps them vital. In addition to providing oxygen, blood flow also helps carry away waste products, including free radicals. It really helps flush cellular debris out of our system, so it's rather like cleansing our skin from the inside out. If we walk or jog, getting out in nature can also be a wonderful way to help relieve stress and generate a wonderful sense of peace and calm. 
which certainly also helps our skin. Resolution number five is to clean our makeup brushes weekly. According to a Huffington Post survey, only 61% of women clean their makeup brushes once a month, if at all. 39% clean them less than once a month, and 22% admitted to never cleaning them at all. Yikes. <laughs> I know that cleaning makeup brushes is probably the least favorite task for most of us, including me, and I have a stack of brushes waiting on my bathroom counter to be cleaned at this very moment. But it is so important to clean our makeup brushes because first and foremost, dirty brushes can cause a fungal E. coli or staph infection, which can be really serious. Secondly, Brushes accumulate sebum, impurities, dust, dead skin cells, and product buildup, which affects the quality of makeup application. This buildup can affect the shape of our brush, as well as our ability to pick up and lay down pigment and blend that pigment properly. In short, dirty brushes make it more difficult to apply makeup and can mean that our makeup application doesn't look its very best. Dirty brushes can also cross-contaminate other makeup products and in the long run, cleaning our brushes protects our investment in our brushes because it extends the life of the brushes. And to make cleaning our brushes a little easier, consider purchasing a tool like this wonderful tool from Sigma, which attaches with suction cups to the sink and has several different textures that really get makeup off brushes more easily and thoroughly. This is one of my favorite beauty tools, which I absolutely won't be without. And you'll find a link to it in the description box below the video. Also, why not try listening to a favorite podcast while you clean your brushes or putting on a facial mask? I personally love grabbing my phone and listening to my favorite Spotify playlist of songs. Podcasts or music can really make the time spent cleaning our brushes far more pleasant. Resolution number six is related to brush cleaning and it's to toss out any beauty products that are way past their designated shelf life. And to find out the shelf life of a product, simply look on the back of the product and you'll find a symbol of an open compact. Inside the compact is a number and that number indicates the number of months that the product should be used. For instance, on the back of this particular product, you can see an open compact symbol at the bottom and within that compact is the number 12M, which stands for 12 months. And here's that symbol. Number seven is a resolution which is simply non-negotiable, and that's to always reach for sunscreen, whether it's raining or the sun is shining, because wearing sunscreen is really the holy grail of skincare. 90% of visible signs of aging is caused by chronic sun exposure. And make sure you apply enough sunscreen, at least an amount the size of a nickel, or one quarter to one third teaspoon if you have a small head, and more if you have a larger head. Unfortunately, when many of us were young, we simply weren't aware of the dangers of the sun's rays, but it is never too late to make wearing sunscreen a daily habit. The eighth resolution is to step out of our comfort zone have fun and experiment with makeup. It's all too easy for each of us to get stuck in a makeup rut, and I know I certainly do, but makeup can be an expressive therapeutic art form. So have some fun and express yourself through color and creativity by maybe trying a bold lip, a new blush color, or a gorgeous colorful eyeshadow. Resolution number nine, Remember that there are no makeup rules. The questions I get most often are, is it okay for me to wear shimmer eyeshadow or should I only wear neutral eyeshadow colors? But I maintain that the most important thing is to have fun with makeup. Do what makes you feel special, beautiful, and happy. And number 10 is to give yourself permission to occasionally treat yourself. Self-care is a necessity, not a luxury. Perhaps book a special treatment you've been thinking about for a while, or you don't even have to spend a lot of money, since you can take time at home to indulge in a long, relaxing bath or give yourself a manicure or pedicure. Or you might try a face mask or an at-home facial. Taking some me time is an important investment in our well-being. It helps us to be a better partner, mother, grandmother, or great-grandmother. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if so, please let YouTube know by hitting that thumbs up icon. And I'd love to hear what some of your beauty resolutions are for the upcoming year. So please share them with us in the comments section below. Until next time, I send you warm wishes for good health and happiness and wish you a prosperous and peaceful new year. Take care.